There's a huge dip with that first child. Mm -hmm. This is a potential crisis where co-lovers become co-parents, mm -hmm. as a has been said. A lot of things are set in order at that stage of life when the first child comes. And uh, many you know, what times... What happened to my yeah. sweetheart? She's yeah. besotted with this child. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if he's jealous of that, that sets the pace for the rest of the marriage. She's mm -hmm. got the kids and he's lost his wife and resentments build. But, so how a couple handles that first child really is a crucial. It's, it's probably the most critical time in a marriage is that birth of that first child. And if they can begin, if they can do that as a partner, partnership, then they've, they've kind of got their way through that. You bring up two words. I think they're sad terms. They're also dangerous terms. Our marriage is on hold mm. or we've settled for. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. On hold and mm -hmm. settle for. Mm -hmm. That is that's devastating. That's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, you're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. And if you settle for, you're just kind of going to drift into, you know, what are they, they've identified in the research, divorces take place in the third to fifth year, about half of divorces do. And then around 16 to 20 years, there's another stage where there's divorce. And that's what the research has shown because that's, they've only followed about 20 to 25 years worth of, of couples. But there's sort of, a, there's something I've watched, and then it was in the New York Times a couple years ago, that they called it the 37 year itch, somewhere around 35 to 38 years, couples will divorce. A big and that's number. the growing trend worldwide. Yeah. Yes. And the woman often is the one who initiates it at that point. And that's the ones who have settled for. And then all of a sudden, being you hit that stage and you say, what's the point, you know? And it's sad, but you've got to get back there earlier to, to uh, start to do some things to, to well, change I it. I think that, that brings up the point where we're, we've found that um, many couples have a decent marriage and they've settled for that. And we, we just really want to see them move out of that into something great. And, and there's so many things like recognizing that the problem really probably isn't the problem and to help them see that. And uh, so many of those things that, that you have mentioned already, but to move out of having just a decent marriage or even called a good marriage uh, into something that's even more. Well, and one of the things, connection. I mean, yeah. how, who's ever heard of uh, eight kinds of intimacy? I've never yeah. heard of that. <laughs> Page 139. I mean, yeah. there's a scorecard here. Uh, play intimacy. Give us a few more of the Well, there's uh, work intimacy, work creative in intimacy. intimacy. This is all part uh, of your marriage. Of course, you know, when you say intimacy, man thinks S-E-X. And Sexual woman, intimacy. And woman thinks T-A-L-K, talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> and those are there, but, but there's, a whole there's bunch another of one, the spiritual intimacy. And mm. that one, a lot of people don't know how to do that one, and we talk about that. And that's your first point, is getting couples to pray together as yeah. a mm -hmm. starting place. And what we do in there is we've got a chapter on the secret, and then we have the next chapter has a lot of different things that a couple can begin Excellent. to do exercises, mm -hmm. quizzes, different things that they can do. Yeah, I mean, and at the it. end of every chapter, there's discussion. You, yeah. you invite us to discuss what we just read. Mm -hmm. And by the way, for these, for example, the eight kinds of intimacy and everything else listed here, th there's a score option, a one out of ten. So you really get to see, where do I need to grow? Mm -hmm. yeah, How you, can I move from good you, to great? You chart that on a circular thing, like a wheel, and you see where the flat spots are, you know, where <laughs> you need to work on and, and strengthen them. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody's frustrated watching it. Well, where are the seven secrets? Well, we haven't told you. <laughs> because you really need to read the book. But we would be missing an important opportunity in our discussion of good to great if we didn't ask you, what about the couple that is just barely hanging on and in their minds it is hopeless. Mm -hmm. what, what would the first step to mm. hope be right now? You know, I, I've seen a lot of couples like that and, and some of them I've thought, oh, this is easy for me to work with them and it fails. And I've seen others uh, where I think, oh, how will this ever come together? And they, they come together. So there's something in the couple themselves that's important that they that they both want to do something. They may not know what to do, but they want to do something. That desire is where, where it's important to begin. So you're, uh, are you saying that this, this couple is barely hanging on what, yeah, what can, what can they do? What's the first step? They you can, can say, do? there's hope, but we got to get some help, see? And, mm -hmm. and somebody that believes in marriage. There's a lot of counselors out there that only want to work with one person. They kind of work against the marriage without even thinking about it. You've got to have somebody who's... They don't gonna, mean to. No, but, but you've got to have somebody that you're going to work with who will see you together because the problems there are, are together. But to recognize that a lot of the things that you're looking at as being the problem are just a symptom. 
and to be able to get behind that or underneath that to see where, where, where are the dreams that are being frustrated? Where are the dreams that you feel you've got to give up? Articulate those things. Begin to talk about those things. Uh, just begin to In work fact, on the friendship. That's a basic again. thing. If we can get a couple to dream together, we know we have at least got a handle on something some that's hope. really, really important. And uh, dreams are frustrated in marriages, and it, it's a it's a very common issue. You ask them, what, what were your dreams? We don't even know anymore yeah. because we're so frustrated. And to get them to start just even a, a little bit of talking about mm -hmm. what they wanted to be there, outside there's a of this. large study done by a secular university in the States uh, looking at people, married people who were unhappy. And they went back five years, I mean, who were seriously unhappy thinking about divorce. They went back five years later and interviewed as many as they could find. Those who had divorced were still unhappy. Most of those who had stayed married now said we're happy. So we marriage, it out. marriages go through seasons, and and you know there's there's the times where it feels kind of empty. Don't give up. Just start to work on. Take that 15 minutes a day after dinner and talk. Start, start praying place. together on a daily basis, and and see what God will do in that situation. Because God Thank loves you. marriage. God loves marriage. Is it a fine art? Was Roberta Flack right? <laughs> That's I really think so. I, it's I, a fine too. art that we can all learn. <laughs> but it takes work. Thank you for a lifetime of wisdom packed into one book, Better Than Ever, Seven Secrets to a Great Marriage, and More Than the Secrets, some really wonderful exercises that will help you uh, to a place you might have concluded you can't reach. Uh, I hope this has been meaningful for you. A wedding is an event, but a marriage is an achievement. I love the verse in Ecclesiastes. I think I put it in every wedding card. Mm. Two are better than one, yes. mm -hmm. and a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Think about it. God, who instigated this institution, who, who gave this covenant, wants to be right at the heart of your marriage. Whatever stage, whatever age, whatever condition it's in right now, He can help you, and maybe we can help you.